हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक टू ट्रॉप लेसन फॉर यू फ्रेंड्स यू नो वी हैव कवर्ड अबाउट द मसल्स ऑफ द अपर लिम राइट ऑल द मसल्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इन योर अपर लिम नाउ ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव रिटन दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द मसल्स ऑफ द लोअर लिम्स राइट सो हियर वंस अगेन एज आई हैव आई हैड डिवाइडेड द अपर लिम इनटू सिक्स रीजंस द पेक्टोरियल रीजन the back region shoulder region arm region forearm region and hand region in that manner we are dividing the lower limb into four regions right lower limb into four regions okay what are the regions why are we dividing these regions because remember this that in these regions the muscles are present which are responsible for the movement of your lower limbs right so in these four regions the actual muscles are present which are responsible for the movements of your lower limbs that's why i'm dividing the lower limb into four regions and what are those the first one is your glochial region right this one is glochial region right and uh, we also call it hip region in this region six muscles are present which i will discuss then lower to that thigh region right there is the thigh region which we will see the muscles here the anterior compartment the posterior compartment and the medial compartment of this thigh region muscles right and then there is the leg region right the muscles in the leg region again the muscles in this region are present in the posterior compartment of the leg region and anterior compartment of the leg region right and then there is your foot region so certain muscles are present in your foot also for the movements of all these okay so what are the regions in which we will see the muscles in your lower limbs the uh, glochial region the thigh region the leg region and the foot region so let us see the muscles in the first region which is called the muscles of the glochial region right we are just showing those muscles and some introduction of those muscles just that nothing nothing very very deep right so the first muscle and this region is the gluteus maximus gluteus maximus is the muscle which you put your hand and you can feel it right so this is the gluteus maximus here i have shown this is your gluteus maximus it is present in the glochial region that's why we call it gluteus and it is bigger because we have three gluteus muscles medius right and minimus and this one is maximus so maximus is the superficial one medius is the middle one and minimus is the muscle which is present near to the bone or deep to these three muscles right so gluteus maximus is the big muscle which is present in your glochial region so here you can see that the gluteus maximus is the most superficial glochial muscle that forms the prominence of the glochial region the prominence of the glochial region you know we can feel it we can touch it right so hip muscles okay it's quadrangular in shape it has a little bit four angles so that's why we call it it is quadrangular muscle and what is its origin lateral posterior surface lateral posterior surface of the sacrum and coccyx bones okay glochial surface of the ilium behind the posterior gluteal line thoracolumbar fascia sacrotuberous ligament so how many regions look lateral posterior surface of the sacrum and what sacrum and coccyx okay then glochial surface i'm sorry look at this this is first point from where it gets its origin then the glochial line of the ilium the second one right and then there is thoraco lumbar fascia right and then there is the sacrotuberous ligament so how many regions here we have all those stuff posterior surface of sacrum and ilium right uh, uh, coccyx sacral bone and these are coccyx bones if you follow the pointer right 
then there is the glacial surface of the ilium iliac bone or ilium and then there is the there are thoracolumbar fascia and sacrotuberous ligament is also present so from all these four it gets its origin and then it is inserted into the iliotibial tract the glacial tuberosity of the femur bone right so iliotibial tract and glacial tuberosity of the femur bone right here we said this is the insertion of this muscle okay what are its actions at the hip joint right it causes the thigh extension now listen to me friends whenever it will contract right it will pull your thigh backward for example if this is your thigh right and here is the muscle gluteus maximus muscle right so whenever it will contract it will pull your thigh right it will pull your thigh so this is called thigh extension right and then there is the thigh external rotation external rotation means this one for example thigh is moving in this manner in this manner so external rotation because muscle is here and it is contracting so whenever it contracts it pulls your thigh a little bit laterally so lateral rotation or external rotation and then there is thigh abduction also so this is your thigh in its position here is the muscle so whenever it contracts it will cause the abduction of your thigh abduction of your thigh and then thigh adduction also inferior part of it so all these actions are provided by this big muscle which is called the gluteus maximus muscle what is its blood supply it is supplied by inferior gluteal and superior gluteal supplied by inferior gluteal and superior gluteal arteries which are present all here right and what is its innervation it is innervated by inferior gluteal nerve which come from the branches of l5 s1 and s2 so here is the inferior gluteal nerve you will find it this is inferior gluteal nerve and you can find it here i will zoom it a little bit you can find it so this nerve is responsible to supply innervation to this gluteus maximus muscle right so in this lecture what did we discuss we discussed about the regions of the uh, lower limb right and in the first muscle which is uh, related to your lower limb that is muscles of gluteal region that is gluteus maximus muscle we will discuss another muscle in the next lecture friends till then allah hafiz